uh, will define our um, indexing scheme for all the nine uh, faces. So let's make a screen copy of this guy. And put it inside our text edit. So text, text edit, new document because we can mark up there. So paste. Click here, mark up. Right. Nice. So uh, let's bring up the text. So oh, this guy is is so small let's increase its font size is it here uh, 22 let's use I think 48 is okay 48 okay so red color it's okay um, Maybe let's use a different purple. Do we have purple color? Um, so what is this color? Okay, I guess it's inside this one. Yeah. Maybe pink or purple. Purple, pink, purple. Uh, let's use pink. Okay. So put one here. So this is our one and can we copy and paste yeah this will be this will be two right this is easy and let's pay oh can we paste again yeah so this will be our oh sorry for that we always start we always start from zero we are programmer so move this one let's move this one oh move this one oh what's wrong yeah grab this one to here two goes here and one goes here now think about how do you, right? How do you define the indexing for the other faces? Um, there, are, there are different ways to define that. So we have to keep uh, consistent during in the whole uh, developing procedure, right? Otherwise they will be messed up. So let's paste another one. This guy will be zero. Yeah. In the middle. Let's paste another one. Let me change it to four. Okay. And uh, another one. Five. Right. So many people will agree this is a good idea for front face, but there might be different opinions for other faces. It's not that easy. And uh, actually it doesn't matter. We only need to keep consistent. So my idea is, my strategy is, will stand like in front of facing the that face. And we always start from top left. So say we are facing this direction, okay, from right to the left. So for the right face, zero will be here, okay. Copy, paste. And uh, no, put here zero, right? And for this one, 
copy paste can I yeah oh I can drag like that one now the two okay I touch this guy put it back okay so copy paste for this one hmm. where is my hand hand okay and I can yeah zero one two and uh, three copy paste now think about the top face okay and the left and the back and the button so and we need to remember our skin when we are coding it's very very easy to make mistake in this part We will finish the right face soon. And we'll talk about the top top face next. So seven and eight. Now the top face. Do you want to start from here? So our my strategy is, so like I'm I'm looking down, right? So this is the top left. So I'll put a zero there. What do you think? Can I select more? No, uh, no. I cannot. Okay. Copy paste. Put it here. And I think we don't need to put everything there, right? Because you know the idea. We can put this. Yeah, the typical one. Okay, so now we know three will be here. Now what about the the left left face? Where is the zero? Here, right? We are facing this direction from right looking to the right. Yeah, we, we stand here looking to the right. So here will be the zero. And uh, okay, so let's make a copy of this one and uh, put a zero there for our left face here. We cannot see it, but pretend we are there okay so this is this is the zero there and uh, what about the back face the back face we we uh, we are standing there and facing to the front right so this guy will be the top left relatively so here will be the zero of the back face here okay that block so here will be one right two now where is the zero for button so we are looking up like we lay down right we lay down lie down <laughs> and uh, so here will be the zero paste another one Okay, so this will be the zero of the button face. Now, do we have everything? One, two, yeah, we have everything here. So we'll keep this one here for reference. And uh, so we'll use this diagram quite often during the development so now let's go to the code so canvas view how to render the 
front face. So front face is easy. So this one zero zero is is indexing indexed zero, right? So it will be front face will oh we are using the same color for every face. Oh no 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 no. We need to follow the the shadow of front, right? So shadow front face and uh, this is our first element yeah so let me make a copy of that and uh, this is our second one so it's like that so the third one right so zero zero is one two is colon zero Col colon zero Current zero, right? Current zero, row zero. Current one, row, row zero. Yeah. So this one is three, and this one is four, and this one is five. So after that, we can give it a test before we re, uh, update the the other faces. So now we have nine squares ready. Let's run it. That's the front face. What's wrong? Um, it crashes. It crashes. So shadow. Mm -hmm. But index out of it means we don't have front face populated. Let's double check the what's wrong here. Draw front face. It's empty. But after um, update reset, so reset we should have update shadow option shadow. Okay, so top. Top, shadow button, button, shadow that equals front face, back face, back face, left, left, right, right. Okay, now let's double check this one. Um, reset. Jump to definition. Reset. We re. Oh. We remove all here. This is wrong. And uh, top face remove all. Bottom front front append nine times, right? Yeah. Oh, this is wrong. Sorry about that. That's terrible, okay. Because it's not remove all means remove all, right? It's not like remove a single one. So you move more, we cannot put it inside the for loop. That's why we didn't populate enough. That's the reason it crashes. So debugging is fun, right? It's like a detective job. So don't be panic, okay? 
Now remove all, remove all, and uh, append, append. Okay, cool. Run it. Yes, you see? The front face. So we'll do the same thing uh, for the other faces. Okay. Um, so here and uh, so here will be shadow front. Yeah, we'll only have three faces. So this one will be top, right? Shadow top face zero. Okay, now let me copy that and uh, copy and replace that with one. Let's do it quickly. Three, be patient and uh, try to understand the the logic here. Mm -hmm. So six and uh, seven, the last one, eight. Let's run it to see if it works. Top, top is white, yes, right? We, we don't have a hard-coded white here. Everything is from this model we set the top face we reset to white the standard location uh, for white so this one now is shadow shadow what shadow right right oh now i see the problem we don't need so many uh, I think we can get rid of top. We don't need button, and we don't need um, we don't need back. We cannot see it, and we don't need the left. Right. So let's delete that. And uh, front, top, front, right. Yeah. So now we need to update this one. Mm. No, it's here. If we compile, it will fail, right? Compile. Yeah. Let's delete that. Triple click. Triple click. Yeah, delete. And uh, triple click. Let's compile again. Yeah. Triple click. Oh. Okay. Triple click. Triple click. Sorry. Sorry. Come on. Okay. Now. Uh, let's go back to the view to finish that. Okay. Shadow right. Yeah. Let's make a copy of that. This is one, right? And uh, two, three. So this will be our right face. What's the color of that? Right face. It should be green. I just look at my physical. Physical. Rubik's Cube. The green is on the right. Now, let's see. Run it. Ta-da! Cool. See you next time.